Almost 300 key movers and shakers in the e-gaming industry got together on board the Sunborn for the ninth edition of the e-Summit. The biannual event provides a platform for key industry leaders to share their knowledge. This year, the summit focused on exploring the opportunities that lie ahead for Gibraltar's e-gaming sector. When we talk about a new era, we're talking about what are the things we need to be thinking about, what are the things we need to be doing to make sure we stay ahead of the pack. Brexit's been a big challenge for us. We've managed to, to deal with that over the last two years, working very closely with operators. Uh, and now we're looking at the last 20 years has worked very well for us. What is it that we have to do to prepare ourselves for the next 20 years? And that could be the way we legislate, the way we regulate, the way we allow the gaming companies to do different things, the kind of um, jurisdictions that we allow them to work in. So there's a whole broad range of different issues that we constantly engage with the, with the operators which come to the fore in this summit and that's what we spend a lot of the time talking about. In identifying new opportunities for Gibraltar's e-gaming sector, the government launched a gambling review three years ago, but this was shelved shortly after due to Brexit. The summit now allows for this review to be revived and for industry leaders to contribute to the discussion and help to identify new opportunities as well as pointing out those obstacles. Gibraltar's had a very limited uh, uh, approach in terms of what it allows its operators to do, how it allows them to do it. Our legislation doesn't capture every sort and type of gaming. Uh, so the gaming review is going to look at all of these different areas. Uh, we've consulted with all the gambling firms over the past three years. We continue to do that now. We work with the GBGA, which is the association representing all these gambling operators in Gibraltar, talking through all of these different mechanisms and what we should be doing to make sure we get it right for the next 20 years. The gaming sector is a fast-paced one that needs to keep a pace development in the fields of technology and regulation. The key for Gibraltar is to facilitate these for operators and work together with them so they may continue to adapt to the times, strengthen their positions in the industry and continue to grow. We are working with the industry who are going to fund this to open up a centre of excellence for responsible gambling at the University of Gibraltar. That means that we are going to be looking at um, setting up a chair from a very senior professional, with internationally known and recognised, who is going to lead research into gambling, responsible gambling, human behaviour in responsible gambling, how we can help to improve that, how we can help to deal with people that have, um, uh, have got caught up with that, because that's where our companies we want to be at the front end with. So we're doing that with them. Um, after that, every single employee will go through university for a responsible gambling uh, certification and that we believe will keep Gibraltar at the, at the cutting edge of, of jurisdictions for online gaming. Much has changed since the first gaming operators set up Home on the Rock 20 years ago now and with an important set of challenges lying ahead for Gibraltar in the immediate future, the summit has served as an important pause for reflection that will now allow Gibraltar to readjust and prepare itself for the next generation of e-gaming companies and for the next 20 years.